In today's Back to Basics episode, I'll share with you my 10 steps in preparing an underwater camera before I take it on a dive. Coming up. Hi and welcome back to the Underwater Filmmaking School and today's Back to Basics episode. Now the Back to Basics format here on my channel is meant to give you guys basic knowledge when it comes to underwater filmmaking. In today's episode, I'll happily share with you my 10 steps of preparing any underwater camera before I take it on a dive. Before we get started with the first out of those 10 steps, I just wanna let you know that I have actually put those 10 steps together in a PDF file and there is a download link that can be found down in the video description just below this video. Feel free to head over there and download the PDF so you've got a reference of those 10 steps for the next time you're preparing a camera to take it underwater. And now let's get right into the first step. So regardless of what camera you're using, the first step is always going to be to make sure that you have an SD card inserted into your camera and also make sure that that SD card is formatted so you have the full capacity of the SD card available on your dive. As a second step, I always make sure that I have all my settings set inside the camera before I actually take it underwater. I always do this as the second step of preparation. Simple reason, it's much easier to get all the settings uh, put into your camera while you've got it on the surface rather than trying to do that while you're underwater and you're time limited because of your you know, decompression time and your air supply. And it's also, it can be uh, somehow difficult to get to those settings through the underwater camera housing. So always make sure to have your settings right before you even think about putting the camera inside the housing. As you guys might know, I personally use the GH5 and the GH5S to film underwater. And if you guys are interested in um, seeing or learning what settings I use to capture my stuff, my images underwater, feel free to put a comment down in the comment section and I'll be sure to create a specific video about the settings that I'm using. Step number three is to make sure that you have a fully charged battery inside your camera. Now, I always recommend to um, format your SD card and uh, get all the settings right, then take the battery out, exchange it with a fully charged battery, so that way you know that by the time you enter the water, your battery is still gonna be 100% charged and you get the most capacity out of it. Step number four is a short one, but a fairly important one, and that's to take your lens cap off. You wouldn't believe how many times it actually has happened to me that I have forgotten to take the lens cap off, and obviously that ruined the dive. Not in terms of not being able to dive, but in terms of not being able to capture anything throughout that dive. So always make sure and double check that you do take that lens cap off. Step number five is to have a quick look at your lens and your port after you've taken the lens cap off. Make sure that the lens is nice and clean, that there is no fingerprints, no dust, nothing on the lens. Also make sure that the port on your underwater camera housing that you'll be using, that that one is nice and clean as well. That's gonna guarantee you the best possible images that you can, uh, that you can get with your equipment. If you guys need some tips on how to keep your lenses and ports clean, I have actually created a video a little while back that covers just that topic. I'll link it up here in the corner so you can go and check that out if you like. Step number six is one that you only have to do if you're using a camera where you can access the focus and the zoom options throughout the housing. If that's the case, it's very likely that you will have to attach some sort of a zoom or focus gear um, onto your lens so that you can actually use those functions and access zoom and focus through the housing. Step number seven is a step that concerns you if you have a rotatable or a swivel monitor on your camera. 
always make sure to actually place the monitor the right way. So once you place your camera inside your housing, you'll actually be able to see the monitor through the uh, window of the housing. Otherwise, it's gonna be really tough to see what you're actually filming underwater. Step number eight, and we're getting closer to getting the camera ready for business. Now in step number eight, you wanna place the camera inside your housing. If you have to attach it to a sled that slides into the housing, that's the point where you would do this. You would also connect cables, like an HDMI cable that leads to a monitor that you're using to monitor the image. You would do that here as well. And also, very importantly, you would check the O-ring. Make sure there's no dirt, no dust, nothing on the O-ring. If there is anything, give it a nice and quick clean. If you don't know how to clean O-rings or how to take care of your O-rings, I have actually put a video together just about that topic, which I'll link up here in the corner. Feel free to go and check that out as well. Coming to step number nine, and in this step, what you wanna do is before you close the housing, you wanna make sure that you have activated your leak detection system. Obviously only if your camera housing has that integrated. Um, once you've activated the leak detection system, you can then close the housing, and you can then use the vacuum pump to create an under pressure inside your housing. Obviously, again, only if your housing does supply a vacuum system. Now, if you don't know what a vacuum system is, it actually keeps your camera um, safe during the dive, working together with the leak detection system. Again, I've put a little video for you together just about that topic. I'll link it again up here in the corner, so feel free to go and check that out as well. And last but not least, step number 10. Just about to get in the water, you wanna have a final check on your camera housing, making sure that everything looks good, making sure that if you do have a vacuum system that the pressure is stable inside your um, underwater camera housing. And what I also recommend you do is actually, once you've got everything closed up and ready to go, turn the camera on, on land, and just go through the most important functions. Use the most important buttons that you're gonna be using underwater. Use it on land and just make sure that everything works properly. Because if something doesn't work, and I've had it sometimes that a button didn't catch properly and I wasn't able to activate a function, now on land I can still undo the back of the housing and uh, position um, the button in a way that it will actually work. Underwater, it's gonna be a pity if you um, notice just underwater that an important function that you were gonna be using on the dive and for filming is not working properly. So always make sure that you do that final check before you get into the water. And there you go, those are my 10 steps that I use every single time for preparing my underwater camera before I take it on a dive. Hopefully that's a checklist, that's um, a system that you guys can integrate in your pre-dive uh, procedure when you take your camera underwater as well. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, I've put it together in a PDF which you can download and you'll find the download link down in the video description below. Thank you very much for watching guys and if this video was useful to you, if there was some value in those 10 steps that I explained to you today, please don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing to the channel so you're not missing out on any future tips and tricks that will be uploaded here on my channel. Should there be any questions regarding the preparation of a camera to take it underwater, please feel free to put your questions down in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks again for your time and I will see you down there.